A shortcut to subtracting fractions, or subtracting fractions without having to find the lowest common denominator. I'm going to show a simple example, one half minus one third, of how to use the shortcut method. To start with, you start with the number in the upper left hand corner, one in this case, and multiply by the number in the lower right hand corner, the three, and put that in the numerator of your answer. One times three is three. Now whatever you sign you have, plus or minus, bring that over to your numerator. In this case we're subtracting, so it's minus. Now go to the lower left hand corner, multiply the upper right hand corner, and put that in the numerator. Two times one is two. All of this is going to be over, multiply your two denominators together, two times three is six. That's how you do the shortcut method. Now we'll just do the subtraction on top. Three minus two is one, and of course it's over the denominator, six. The answer is one sixth. I'm going to show you now what it looks like if we did find the lowest common denominator so you can see why the shortcut method works. We'll take the same example, one half minus one third. We're going to find the lowest common denominator, which is six. So we multiply the first fraction by three over three, and then we multiply the second fraction, the one third, by two over two. Then we multiply the top of the first fraction, three times one is three, and multiply the two bottom numbers, three times two is six. Then we multiply 2 times 1 for 2, and 3 times 2 is 6 again. And we subtract across the tops. 3 minus 2 is 1 in the numerator. And we put it all over 6 in the denominator, 1 6. That's the same answer, and that's why this shortcut method works. Let's look at another example so you can just see how it works on any fraction. We'll take 7 fourths minus 9 fifteenths. Our method is to take the upper left-hand corner, Multiply by the lower right hand corner. 7 times 15 is 105. Now bring over your minus sign because it's subtraction. Now lower left times upper right. 4 times 9 is 36 in the numerator. All that over the two denominators multiplied. 4 times 15, which is 60. Put that in the denominator. And now we just do our simple subtraction on top. 105 minus 36 is 69, all over 60. We can simplify this by dividing by 60, which goes once, with a remainder of 9 over 60. And we can even take a 3 out to simplify that further, and we get 1 and 3 twentieths. That's how you subtract fractions using the shortcut method. I'm also going to put up a link on how to add and subtract fractions by using the lowest common denominator. And I have another video out on how to add fractions using the shortcut method, and I'll put up a link to that as well. If you haven't already, please take a second right now and subscribe to the MathCat channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the corner of the screen. That way you'll know when new videos come out. And right now we're able to put out a video or two a week on math topics that our viewers are interested in. And you can suggest a topic if you want. You could write it in the comment section or any comments or questions you have on this video. Please like this video and thanks for watching.